I think I should start with the obvious one. You're addicted to drugs. You or they are addicted to drugs and you're a horrible drug addict. Drug addict. You know what I mean? Like, you can't balance your drug in your work life, so you get caught, you fuck up at work, cause mistakes, which costs your boss money, which makes you a liability, which makes someone get rid of you. Um, you're too lazy to quit drugs, and then you're too lazy to do a job that pays for your drugs, so you rob, steal, do whatever the fuck homeless people do to afford buying drugs or you test out other people's drugs who are experimenting making drugs for the people that have jobs and have money and just have a really high drug tolerance now so they don't get a high anymore. Or they don't wanna take a five year break in order to get that same high. You know, you get to be bomb of the fucking barrel for whatever reason, right? You know, it just, there's a, there's a lot of jobs and a lot of ways to make money if you're fucking homeless fucking pick up trash for people literally go around picking up trash and get paid my dad used to pay a guy all the time for coming to his shop and picking up trash at his business fucking homeless janitor no benefits no nothing we gave him his bread and he went to do his thing right it was it was freaking great No, I gotta steal and source more supplies. I'm playing GTA right now, by the way. And I knock on doors for a living. I used to smoke weed, but seeing all the homeless people, like, I don't even want to smoke weed anymore. It's like, fuck, bro. Like, kind of killed the high for me, honestly. Shit, I can't say that, can I? Because I'm joining the military. Well, no, no, I'm good. I actually can't say that because I'm joining the military. Pretty sick. You know, you can't even quit drugs to join the military. You understand that, like, some of these drugs, you're just trying to fill a void. Like, you barely lived life yet. Like, I get it. Like, you completely lived life. You've done fucking everything. And now you're, like, basically God on Earth. And you did everything and have done everything on the world. So your only option is to take drugs and, you know, sit there in a fucking cesspool of your shit. Spit, piss, vomit and just exist, right? You're in pain, <laughs> which is astonishing to me. You're in pain because of said drugs, because some of you are addicted to drugs, yet outside of doing the drugs, you don't do healthy things. Like, what sense does that make? Like, why aren't you addicted to drugs and eating healthy? Like, you know the drug is toxic, so why don't you have healthy habits? What? Like, come on now. Like, you're addicted to drugs and you're so addicted and lazy and stupid that you can't even, like, get a fake t piss test or buy fake piss, you know? You're not, you're so stupid that you can't get a job to where it makes sense that you're on drugs because it's so fucking simple and easy, like, mopping a fucking floor, like, you could be hot mopping the floor on cloud fucking nine. No one gives a fuck. You're cleaning a floor. You do the same thing every day, right? Mm, 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 mm. Doom, 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 doom. After the first three months, it's like, dude, what's new? You know what I mean? Who we want for next? What's changing? Like, what the fuck? Like, that shit is dumb, yo. That shit is dumb as fuck. Like, what the fuck? Damn. And it's not the drug dealer's fault. Because they're... They be on some shit, too. Rarely do you meet a sober drug dealer. But they're operational. Some of the richest people, billionaires, business runners on drugs. I was just listening to that fuck-ass Ben Shapiro, and he's like, the president is doing coke off the stripper's ass. Operational as fuck. But you know what? You have to be able to afford good coke. That won't kill you. That means you have a job. And last time I checked, I'm pretty sure Coke was the most expensive drug besides lean. And then the boys who were doing lean, honestly, like artists and shit, who were like overdoing on lean, like forgot that in order to create more art, you need to experience life and get inspiration. Like, 
you only know so much. You just came out your mom's vagina. Like, you're not God, you know, you don't have like this fucking source of information and experience coming into your life. Like, no, you don't see everything. Luckily, we live in a time where we have access to the freaking internet, but like, what are you talking about? Like, I get it. I see homeless people with smartphones, all that shit. Like, bro, if you're homeless and you're begging for food on the road and you're perfectly fine with being homeless, get a gym membership, right? Get a car and live like that, first of all. And you want to park in space places that have cameras. I heard it's illegal to park in those spots. You know, if you like, like where RV people park and truck drivers park, but eventually they might start charging you like lot rent. But you know, not everyone's an asshole. You're just parking your car there. You know, you have shit to do during the day, right? Um, shit. Yeah, and I'm not gonna edit this too, because this is so self-explanatory. That I'm not going to death unless people comment and want me to go to death. I'm just gonna keep moving on, series after series. Until the world gets better. Because I knock on doors all day. I meet the people who have jobs and say they follow the rules, but probably don't really follow the rules. Like, some of these bros are assholes. And they're assholes because of homeless people, drug addicts, people who are rich enough to sit on their ass all day, people who have old people money, which is not their fault. Why are you mad at someone else that their grandpa got up off his ass and now he sent his generations to chill forever? And it's not like they're being, you know, a, what's it called? An inconvenience to society. Because they're not. They're at their house that's already paid off. You know, they have some type of residual passive income that's paying the property tax. Why do you pay property tax? Because you got to pay the cops in order to protect your home. It's like, why, why, would, I, why would I come save you? Oh, you pay me, yeah. I gotta, I gotta come save you. Yeah, you pay me. <laughs> you know what I mean? The fuck? Why, why, why pay taxes? Why will I delegate society so that we're not living in the jungle? Do you want to live in the jungle? Do you want to live in the jungle? You and me, like sober, functional, normal civilians, will have no issue killing someone if it wasn't fucking illegal and could get them in jail. Why do you think there's laws like manslaughter and things like that that allow people to kill people? Because if the situation arise, it has to be justifiable. How the fuck do I start a mission in the bunker? All right, I'm about to stop this video so I can look up how to do this.